manager Bruce Greasehaber discusses the configuration of LSI's integrated mirroring, RAID 1, as part of LSI's integrated RAID solution, which is available with LSI host bus adapters. Today I'm demonstrating the LSI integrated mirroring. This feature, available on LSI host bus adapters, simultaneously mirrors two drives, which provides data protection for the system boot volume to safeguard critical data. LSI Integrated RAID is a low-cost hardware RAID solution made possible by the Fusion MPT architecture. Designed for system environments requiring redundancy and high availability where a full-featured RAID implementation is not needed. LSI Integrated RAID solutions offers four RAID levels. Integrated Mirroring RAID 1, which offers reliability across two drives. Integrated RAID Mirroring Enhance, which allows an odd number of drives with data protection. Integrated Striping RAID 0, which allows for high performance configurations. And finally, Integrated Mirroring and Striping, which allows for data protection. This is an example of uh, one of the boards, the 9211-4i, which has been installed in the server. And what we will do next is go through the different configuration utilities available uh, the, uh, to generate two RAID volumes. What I'm going to do is go into the configure utility from here. So now what we can do is from this screen pick which HBA, if we had multiple HBAs, we would get a number of different ones showing. In our case, uh, I have installed the 9211-4i. I select that device and uh, I have different options now in the RAID or, uh, BIOS utility. I want to select RAID properties. And what you'll see is uh, I have four choices here. One is view existing volumes. There's already an existing uh, RAID or mirroring volume on the uh, board already. And I'll just show that, that we have selected the uh, drive zero and one and made a RAID 1 mirroring volume out of that. What I'll do now is generate another volume by creating a second RAID 1 volume and picking, if you notice, drive 0 and 1 uh, are whited out so they're not an option for the RAID volume. The only two options are uh, drive 2 and 3 and I'll hit C to create save changes and you see now that it is creating the RAID volume. So if I go back and look at the RAID properties, you'll see that it uh, now only allows me to manage the volumes and it has two volumes set up uh, for the uh, RAID. So I'll exit out of the utility and continuing the boot sequence for the OS. For more information on LSI host bus adapters and integrated RAID solutions, visit our website at lsi.com.